Daily Planet. And for those of us who'd rather not risk our lives for a bit of fun. Tonight on Daily Planet, rides that control themselves. First, if you've been to a major theme park any time in the last 10 years, you've probably noticed that the rides are getting bigger and faster. And according to one thrill ride engineer, we're reaching the limit of what you can do to a human body without wrecking it. Ooh, I don't like that pancake face either. Well, anyway, what's next, you ask? Well, he and his team in England are working on the next generation of thrill rides. Their story is this week's inventor segment, and it's all about making things interactive. At the University of Nottingham, something wild is happening. These mad scientists are wiring each other from head to toe. It's an experiment designed for one reason. To create a thrill ride the likes of which the world has never seen. We're aiming to create rides that can customize themselves to each rider's physiology to create the most thrilling ride possible. Brendan Walker and his team of thrill engineers want to design the ride of the future. One that can sense and react to each and every rider's emotional state. If I'm not excited by a ride, the ride itself could start manipulating my experience and tailoring itself to me and my psychological needs. It all started six years ago when Brendan created a formula that could actually work out those kinds of numbers. The thrill factor is when you get a rapid and large change in pleasure and arousal. The bigger they are, the bigger the thrill factor is. And it was at that point we moved from a sort of subjective exploration through to a very scientific, objective analysis of the thrilling experience. With the help of a mechanical bull shaped like a football for some reason, the team brings the theme park right inside their lab. Good. Fantastic. It was a very simple experiment. We have one rider riding the ride, collecting all their data, while the electrodes on the rider track heart rate, sweat levels, and even the movement of smile and frown muscles on the face, all those data get sent back to the operator. We were interested in the ride operator interpreting that data and making ride control decisions based purely on that medical data. If the rider's not as excited as he should be, the operator can crank up the ante. It's the first step in creating this kind of feedback control system for the ride. But this is just the beginning. With some Frankenstein-like modifications, the guys now take the human out of the loop completely. At one end of the circuit, a fully automated bucking bronchomatic. At the other end, a simple breathing monitor is strapped to the rider. As Brendan breathes, you can see on the laptop screen, we, get, we can see his breathing going up and down. And our control panel robot is actually moving the bronco so as brendan breathes out the bronco goes one way and brendan breathes in the bronco goes back the other way it's like a horror film setting we've now got a computer controlling a human's enjoyment if i hold my breath i think i'm going to be able to stay on quite a while but it's how long i can hold my breath for which is the trick <laughs> rider one are you ready not really okay three two one even though his own body is steering the wheel, Brendan has no control of the ride. When you're horrified and become scared, your breathing becomes shallow, panicked, it becomes quickened. I'm struggling to control my breathing, but it's quite hard. It's surprisingly difficult and tries your mind to control it. Every time it twitches, you just want to laugh or scream which makes it go even faster. For the Bronchomatic's final test, our producer and cameraman decide to give it a shot. After a well-fought and valiant battle, both are handily defeated. <laughs> I am going to beat it. I am going to beat it. For now, Bronchomatic is just a prototype, but it's proof that thrill rides can be custom-made just for you. Though that idea is never going to save lives, to Brendan, thrilling people to death is just as good. We all want to experience thrill in our lives. It's part of what makes us tick. I think a life without thrill would be really empty. 